Hello everyone and welcome back to the Perfect French with Dylan. Today we start the chapter about infinitive and preposition. Infinitives and prepositions. On the book we are going from page 203 to 211. We have three lessons in total for infinitive and preposition. So one today and then two after this one. Today we are going to review very quickly the infinitive. What is an infinitive? Then we are going to see when the verb is followed right away by an infinitive, when we have verb plus a plus an infinitive, also verb plus a plus noun, that is just for information, then we'll have verb plus de plus infinitive, verb plus de plus noun, also just for information. In this video I'm going to use abbreviation, I'm going to use Q-Q-U-N for quelqu'un, somebody, S-B, somebody, and then I'm going to use Q-Q-C-H for quelque chose, something, S-T-H, okay? Let's review very quickly the infinitives. We have the verb ending in ER, for example, chanter, so chanter does not have any conjugation, it's an infinitive verb. Verb ending in ER, finir. Verb ending in R, E, attendre, and then we have all the irregular ones. Être, avoir, prendre, dire, etc. So all those are infinitive. So this is where we don't conjugate the verb, when we use it as is. So for example, if we see verb plus infinitive, the verb is going to be conjugated, but not the infinitive. And you have the same in English. If you say, I like to sing, j'aime chanter. J'aime chanter. To sing is the infinitive of the verb. You, there is no conjugation in there. So j'aime chanter. I like to sing. But it doesn't have to be only in the present tense. You can also say j'aimais chanter. Imparfait. Or j'aimerais chanter. J'aimerais chanter. I would like to sing. Conditionnel. So today I'm going to give you six examples for each type that we are going to see. So verb plus infinitive. Verb plus A plus infinitive, verb plus de plus infinitive. I'm going to give you six examples for each and also sentences. But if you have the book, you have a long, 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 long list in the book for each one of them. So verb plus infinitive, we have aimer faire quelque chose. Aimer faire quelque chose. To like to enjoy doing something. Devoir faire quelque chose. Devoir faire quelque chose, to have to do something, oser faire quelque chose, to dare to do something, pouvoir faire quelque chose, to be able to do something, souhaiter faire quelque chose, to wish to do something, and venir faire quelque chose, to come to do something. So in this list, all the first verbs are going to be conjugated, but not the infinitive, so not faire. So faire can be replaced by anything. Let's see three sentences, you're going to understand. J'aime cuisiner quand j'ai le temps. J'aime cuisiner quand j'ai le temps. So j'aime faire quelque chose. J'aime cuisiner. So cuisiner is the infinitive. I like to cook when I have time. Another one. Elle souhaite s'inscrire au cours. Elle souhaite s'inscrire au cours. She wishes to register to the courses. Or, le plombier vient réparer la chaudière. Le plombier vient réparer la chaudière. The plumber is coming to fix the furnace. When you feel comfortable with this subject, you can do the exercise 10.1. We have the exact same with verb plus a plus infinitive. So the only difference is that we have a between the verb and the infinitive. I got that a lot in the comments. A lot of people think that the A goes with the verb with the infinitive. But the A goes with the first verb. It's linked to the first verb, not to the infinitive after. It's always linked to the first verb. Remember that. Aspirer à faire quelque chose. Aspirer à faire quelque chose. Aspire to do something. Continuer à faire quelque chose. Continuer à faire quelque chose. To continue to do something. S'engager à faire quelque chose. S'engager 
à faire quelque chose. So this is not engaged. Engage is a totally different word. S'engager is to commit. To commit to do something. Persister à faire quelque chose. Persister à faire quelque chose. To persist in doing something. Another one. Inviter quelqu'un à faire quelque chose. Inviter quelqu'un à faire quelque chose. To invite somebody to do something. So sometimes, before the A, we are going to have something else. Okay, so quelqu'un, someone. And the last one. Parvenir à faire quelque chose. Parvenir à faire quelque chose. To succeed in doing something. Let's see a few sentences. Oui, elle. Il est parvenu à perdre du poids. Il est parvenu à perdre du poids. Est parvenu here, this is conjugated in the passé composé. So you see, can really be conjugated in anything. Is succeeded in losing weight. Nous invitons les voisins à dîner. Nous invitons les voisins à dîner. We invite the neighbors for dinner. Last one. Ils se sont engagés à régler le problème. Ils se sont engagés à régler le problème. So this is se sont engagés. This is a reflexive verb. So s'engager, conjugated in the passé composé. They committed to fix the problem. Now you can do the exercise 10.2. Like I said, I'm also going to give you when it's followed by a noun. So not the infinitive. So it's verb plus a plus noun. So the construction is not always with an infinitive, it can also be a noun. This is just for information, I'm going to give you six. Once again, you have more in the book. Because if I had to give you everything that's in the book, that will take hours. So the first one, aller à quelqu'un, to suit somebody. Croire à quelque chose, to believe something. Être à quelqu'un, to belong to somebody. Se fier à quelqu'un, quelque chose, to trust somebody, something. Jouer à quelque chose, to play something. And obéir à quelqu'un, to obey somebody. We've seen some of them in the book already before, when we saw être, when we saw aller, when we saw jouer, etc. Now if we look at verb plus de, plus infinitive. We have accepter de faire quelque chose. Accepter de faire quelque chose. To accept to do something. Avoir envie de faire quelque chose. Avoir envie de faire quelque chose. To feel like doing something. And then we have dire à quelqu'un de faire quelque chose. Dire à quelqu'un de faire quelque chose. So sometimes it's a mix or a little bit of everything. So dire à quelqu'un is going to be followed by a noun. And then we have de faire quelque chose. But de is still linked to dire. This is not linked to faire. Okay? So, dire à quelqu'un de faire quelque chose. To tell somebody to do something. And then we have oublier de faire quelque chose. Oublier de faire quelque chose. To forget to do something. Refuser de faire quelque chose. To refuse to do something. And then rêver de faire quelque chose. To dream of doing something. So, the only thing that you have to remember mostly for the infinitive after a after de is that a and de are linked to the first verb, the verb that's going to be conjugated. The second verb, so the verb after a, after de, or after nothing, is going to be infinitive. Okay? Let's see two sentences we have. Julie accepte de rester tard au travail. Julie accepte de rester tard au travail. Julie accepte to stay late at work. Or, do you remember? Dire à quelqu'un de faire quelque chose. Le patron dit à ses employés de vider le camion. Le patron dit à ses employés de vider le camion. The boss tells his employees to empty the truck. So a lot of the time the construction is going to be exactly the same in English. When you're good, you can do the exercise 10.3. Now, just for information, verb plus de plus noun. So he has nothing to do with infinitive, it's just for information, okay? So we have s'agir de quelqu'un, quelque chose. To be about somebody, something. Avoir envie de quelque chose, to want something. 
se passer de quelqu'un, quelque chose. We also saw this one on the reflexive verbs. To do without somebody, something. Rêver de quelqu'un, quelque chose. To dream of somebody, something. Vivre quelque chose, to live on something. To end this chapter, you can do the exercise 10.4. So yeah, from 10.1 to 10.4. I believe that was pretty easy. We are going to see more tomorrow because there are a lot of cases when we use the infinitive in French. We are going to cover all of them tomorrow. We are going to focus on when there's an adjective in the process. So it's going to be, of course, easy as well. So I will see you tomorrow. À demain.